Good morning, everybody. Good afternoon and good evening, wherever you are. May Almighty God be with you and bless you and guide you and protect you. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Today, I want to talk to you today about from valley to victory. We all go through difficulties in life and things we don't understand. When you are in the valley, it's easy to get discouraged and think it's never going to improve. But the scripture says in the book of Hosea, chapter 2, verse 15, God will transform the valley of trouble into a gateway of hope. You may be in a valley of trouble, a valley of loneliness, a valley of depth. You don't see any way out. It looks permanent. God is saying, I'm about to transform that valley into a gateway of hope, a gateway of increase, a gateway of favor. The valley is leading you to a new levels, to better relationships, to greater influence. The medical report may not look good. You are in a valley of sickness. God is about to transform it into a gateway of healing, a gateway of wholeness. Don't let the valley fool you. God has the final say. Nothing can snatch you out of his hands. Maybe you are in a valley in, in your finances. Business is slowed. You lost the contract. That valley is not the end. It's about to be transformed into a gateway of blessing, gateway of favor, a gateway of overflow. God is going to open new doors. He's going to cause opportunities to find you. Perhaps you have been struggling with an addition for a long time. You have accepted that you will always be in that valley. Your relatives live in that valley. They all struggle. Don't believe that. No, this is a new day. God is doing a new thing. That valley is about to transform into a gateway of freedom. God has a breakthrough coming your way. He is going to make things happen that you couldn't make happen. The valley is not your destiny. The addiction, the loneliness, the anxiety is not going to hinder your whole life. You were created to be free, to be happy, to live in an abundant, fulfilled life. And instead of complaining about the valley, being discouraged over what you're going through all through the day, pray, Father, thank you that this valley is temporal. I believe what you promised, that you are about to transform it into a gateway of hope, a gateway of blessing, a gateway of victory. That valley is leading you to the awesome future God has in store. And the truth is, you can't reach your destiny without going through valleys. The valleys are strategic. When you are on the top of a mountain, the only way to go higher is to come down that mountain. Go through the valley. Then you can go up a bigger mountain. God knows valleys not to hold us back. But because he's taking us higher, without the valley, we will get stuck. Are you discouraged over what God is going to use to take you to a new level? Frustrated? Thinking that valley is permanent? Have you read about the, the prayer of Jabez? That boy was born into sorrow. That boy was born into what he didn't know. The mother named him Jabez. But one day, he decided to go out from that valley of shame, that valley of trouble, that valley of poverty. So decide today to come out from that valley of evil, of sickness. You are not there anymore. You are a child of the kingdom. Ask God to bless you. Ask God to promote you. Ask God to do what he wants to do in your life and you will be free. Valley is not there to stop you. It is there to promote you. And what you are up against may be bigger. You feel outnumbered. You don't have the resources. On your own, you can't get out. The good news is you are not on your own. The Most High God is right there with you. He knows how to turn that battlefield into a blessing field that value of trouble into a gateway of victory. This is what happened with David. When he was a teenager, he faced Goliath in the valley of Ella. It's not a coincidence that this battle took place in the valley in every morning and in every evening for 40 days. Goliath came down, stood on the side of the mountain, and shouted the insults and the Israelites, making fun, trying to stir up troubles. Goliath was huge, you know. He stood over nine feet tall. His coat was weighed over 120 pounds. He was the champion. But God 
used David to dismantle him. And one day David showed up, 17 years old. When he had this threat, something rose up in him. A fire, a passion, a courage. He says, who is this uncircumcised Philistine that he should defy the army of the living God? He was saying, this man is not in covenant with our God. He doesn't have the blessing of Jehovah. We may be in a valley, but Goliath can't keep us here. He doesn't control our destiny. David looked to Goliath. He said, 1 Samuel 17, 45-46, You come against me with a sword and a shield, but I come against you in the name of the Lord God of Israel. This day, I will defeat you and feed your head to the bears of the air. All of the Israelites were in the same valley. They had the same threats. But David had a different attitude. He talked back to the enemy. When you are in the valley like David, you will hear the enemy's threats. He will try to intimidate you. He will never get out of this problem. It's too big. You will never get well. You saw the report. Your child will never get back on course. Don't do like the Israelites and believe those lies. Live in fear, worries. Do not try that. Do like David and talk back to the enemy. What you are saying in the valley is going to have a great impact on whether or not you come out. The Israelites were saying, he's too big. We don't have a chance. We will never defeat him. When you talk defeat, you are inviting defeat. When you talk sickness, you are going to have sickness. When you say you will never get out of this problem, it's going to keep you there. Instead of agreeing with the enemy, start declaring what God says about you. When the enemy shouts, you will never get well. Do like David. I will live and not die. God is restoring health back unto me. You will never get out of debt. This valley is lack of struggle and rest. Don't worry yourself. God will bring you out. God is opening the windows of heaven, pouring a blessing that you cannot contain. Well, that child is never going to do right. It's never going to break. Don't worry. Say, my children are mighty in the land. What God has proposed for their life, no bad breaks, no additions, no person can stop them. Hallelujah. It is important that you are saying, staying in staying in the valley. If it's going to be transformed into a gateway of hope, you have to speak words of life, words of faith, words of victory. This is where the Israelites missed it. They were talked about big Goliath. Was David was talking about how big our God is. They were magnified the problem. David came alone and started magnifying our God. And the enemy has no new trucks. He's not creative at all. You can go back and look what he has done in the past. That's how he is going to try to deceive you. In this valley, thousands of years ago, he he was threatening with loud insults, trying to intimidate with lies. It's no different today. Goliath may not stand on the mountainside and shout down to your valley, but your thoughts, loud threats will come. Things that keep you awake at night, cause you to live worried, stress out, recognize what is happening. Don't be one of those Israelites and run and hide for 40 days and let the days turn into four months, then 40 years. Be a David. There is nothing more powerful against these negative threats than God's word coming out of your mouth. I may be in a valley, but I tell you, I'm coming out. I will fulfill my destiny. I will accomplish my dreams. I am strong. I'm healthy. I'm able in Jesus' name. So the enemy cannot track me down. David told King Saul that he wanted to fight Goliath. Saul told him all the reasons why he couldn't do it. You are too young. You don't have the training. The experience is too big. No, 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 no. God is with you. Whenever God is with you, you need not to fear what the enemy can do. Do not run away. Stay because God is there with you. God knows what you're going through. He understands you more than you understand yourself. So do not worry yourself about anything. Jesus is alive. He's still on his throne. He will never let you down. He will never allow frustration to kill you. Jabez prayed 
and ask God, Oh, thou, O oh Lord, that you bless me indeed. And God blessed Jabez. So today, now forever, Almighty God is going to bless you in Jesus' name. You are coming out from that valley. Hallelujah. Amen.